Have you got GenStat up and running? You'll see there is a start screen here, which has the various data sets that you've used recently, so you can see what I've been up to. And we have various things for learning about GenStat. The online tutorials are useful, and various other resources that you can look at. It also stores the most recently used menus and working folders and so on. But I'm not going to use this, so I will close it. Uh, you can toggle it to and fro by Control T. So you can close it by going Control T and bring it back by doing Control T. The first thing we're going to do is to get access to the data folder where we store all the data sets and we can make that very convenient for you. So Tools, Working Directory, and then click on Add Data Folder. I've already done that, but you can see Program Files, Genstat 20 ED Data. And that will be convenient for you later on when we load some of these data files. Otherwise, you've got to dig about in your machine to figure out where Genstat stores them. And now I'm going to bring some of the, this data set in. So I'm going to bring it in through Data, Load, Data File, click on Data File. And you can see these are the data sets then that we have for our various documentation and examples. It'll be easier if you select Genstat spreadsheet files because then you see only some of them. We have our own spreadsheet format for saving data. You can save in Excel format if you prefer. The Genstat one is quite convenient if you're going to be working on a data set for a range of analyses. We're going to look at a data set which is about measurements of iron in soil. So we get iron and double click on iron and you can see the data have come in. So we now have this data set in. Notice that we've got a summary of what's been read. Identify is the name that we give to a data structure, or if you like, a column, because this is a set of vectors, and we have various information about that. So if you want to see what's been read, you can open this data pane here, to data down bottom left-hand corner. If you click on that and open all data, you can see the data sets that have been read. Now sample is what we call a factor, I think if you're into experimental design, you'll know what I mean by a factor. It's basically a grouping variable, so it defines groups. Site also is a factor, and then we've got some data. So we've got a variant of iron levels, and we've got a variant giving the weight of the soil samples that were taken.